Hey guys and welcome back to another video with me Slivers FX on this Gothic 2 New Balance mod. Last time we did the Missing Novices and this is a continuity within the Masi of Slayer. We are near the Brotherhood camp and we're gonna enter this cave that we opened last time and it's gonna load us into a uh, another area which we need to traverse to actually get further. So the area behind us gets blocked What's, once you're in here, you must know that everything that you have done, all the potions you made, all the preparations, cannot be cannot be continued until you finish this quest. So this is where we go. Okay. I have missed out on uh, upgrading my crate, or in this case, up-leveling crate, which is the shadow bees that you get within the city of works simply because he doesn't do anything and he always dies on bosses anyway uh if you don't know where to go follow me in this uh ridiculously funny um labyrinth or cave as i call it and you will find your way i'm just grabbing some iron ore here you don't have to go this way, I am, because there's more animals to kill in certain areas. Such as lizards and... Uh, what you call those? Lurkers. And even an alligator over there. That's the bridge we just crossed up there, by the way. I'm just looking if there's anything else that I can, can gather or kill in this area. But to get further inside, we need to go down this slope where uh, the two tiny waterfalls are. And there's a, a cave that continues within this cave system. Okay? I'm gonna do this slow so you guys can follow. There's also gonna be a few minecrawler uh, areas in this area. So I'm gonna clear this stuff first this little uh plateau inside the cave just because i don't want to have problems later on even though there's st still gonna be a couple of beasts that are gonna spawn afterwards there's a war crawler here we know that i think there's another one here with the gold mine actually i think two and if you're wondering why I'm only using a bow, well, because it's easier. When I max out my bow potential, it's basically uh, doing 3,500 damage per hit. So, those are all the animals that are in here. Once we go out, that's the uh, cave we just came through. Now we have to go further up to continue our journey. Once you go through here, there's gonna be like a separate part. Don't go in there yet because you're gonna start a battle with somebody that you don't want to yet. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna clear out this space. There's gonna be a couple of uh, animals here, lurkers and scavengers. There we go. We'll clear out the rest later. Let's go visit Gonzalez. And he is at this fireplace and we're going to talk to him. Now there's two options of doing this. You can do all the quests in here and get the maximum uh, amount of experience as possible. Or you can just kill them all. So you can prefer a fight or you can do the planning way. I hope you're by infiltrating the, the whole thing. So go through all these uh, dialogues that he has. And then when you ask him when to start, it's basically uh, you want to save before you do that. And sit down by the fire and wait until it's 7 in the morning. And then the screen appears a little weird. I don't know if it's glitched, glitched but yeah. Then you close this window and you talk to him again and then you can start. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need to get a disguise. And we're gonna get it by killing one of the uh, Masyaf novices that is trying to get into the main part of the cave. 
with the novice that he stole. There you go. And then you just talk to him. What if you don't have stuff? Okay, no. Wait a Damn. minute. What do you And he's gonna follow you? Make sure you don't have anything magical equipped. Uh, such as a staff or a magic uh, <clears throat> a magical sword because they will attack you on sight. I'm gonna save here just in case because I'm not sure even if they will attack me with this um, staff. No, they won't. Good. Okay, so anything that's normal physical damage they won't attack you with. Don't talk to anybody because they will talk to you. Why is it taking we're here, and we're gonna go see Master Enrosis. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be, like Master Enrosis or something. Did they come up with that name just like that, or is it just it just sounded like he's from uh, Varan? And make sure you nod silently. Okay, cool. Now then, the first quest is a message to Osair, and that is one of the other masters. There's four in total, and we're going to have to get rid of all of them. Now, we won't get rid of them directly. Two of them are going to get killed by the main master, and one of them is just going to disappear but that's going to be at the end of this quest line. So first one is Master Asir. We get a letter. I mean, sorry. We give a letter and we receive a letter in return. We're going to pickpocket everyone. But I'm going to probably do that off screen so you guys don't have to waste so much time me uh, watching me pickpocketing stuff. This is the first quest, getting rid of some black snappers. We can go back to Asir now and tell him we did it. The second quest will be uh, interrogate one of the prisoners. Make sure you talk to this guy. Now, if you talk to any of the elites that are not part of the quest, they will attack you on sight because that's not their way or their policy. Okay, let's just rob all of these guys. That one's gonna die anyway. The music here is sort of um, nonsensical because it keeps, it keeps continuing. So this is the only person that you need to interrogate. You don't have to talk to anybody else. And then we need to talk to one of the main novices that has a plan of escaping. And he is in the main building of the Masia Slayer. And that guy would be this one. Marius. Wait a minute. And what he wants is three uh, packages of weapons and something else, I believe. So weapon bundles and something else. Okay. Now, since that slave has given out Mariusz's name and their plans, only to me, of course, we're gonna have to get rid of him. Because he might tell anybody else as well. Hey you, just and just talk to him. He's gonna go to Osair, and he is going to decapitate him. Well. Don't intervene. I don't know why he's even backing up. It's like he's getting attacked or something. <laughs> Okay, that's the end of that. Oh yeah, the three weapon bundles that we're looking for. One is here, 
I think the wisp already picked it up, if I'm not mistaken. That's a beach bow. And pliers. I think, yeah, it already picked it up. And the two other ones are in the other rooms. Let's see what's next. In a former quest, Osayu seems to have his own thoughts on the matter. So what we need to do is go back to Anrosas again. I think there's a message there on his bench that I need to read. Don't do anything weird in here because they ju they're just going to start attacking you if you do. And you don't want to mess this up. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Give away the plants. And give away the ladder as well. And we're gonna now pick up this ladder. And we're gonna read it. And what Osair wants is a... Uh, he wants a black troll hide that we're gonna get from inside that cave that we once came from. We're gonna go past through here. Remember, this is Gonzalez's camp. We're gonna go back to the same entrance we came from. And the black troll should be on the bottom of the cave. It's a young black hole tray, okay. There you go. Now we can go to Asair. I forgot to get rid of these pests. Sorry about that. Once you get here... What do you, need? you give him the uh, cave troll height. And now he gives you another quest with the uh, two purses that you have to deliver to elite guards from uh, from his personal army, I suppose you could say that. Just uh, pickpocket this guy. <laughs> and the first one is this brother right here, Hasim Fangbreaker. What is a and then you ask him if you know where to find Nagur. If you heard that sound in the background, I apologize. We're gonna go to Gonzalez, who is already confronting the second uh, second guy, and he's gonna kill him. That was not supposed to happen, but it did anyway. You cannot prevent it. And then he thinks you're one of them too. You tell him you got managed to get into the temple. And then he'll tell him about the plan of the two purses. There's a lot of uh, dialogue here, so don't mind. Okay. We go back to Hasim now. And we're gonna tell him about our plan. Okay, let's save. Just in case you pick up the wrong decision. You know, I can't you know, find Nagur, Naruk. Mm, and then, what do you want for your help? You, you need 30 rhetoric. Hey. And then, you try to steal his rosary. Which is the pressure rosary of beats. And I think what he wants is... Da -da -da -da, rare bottle of wine. Which I think we get from Androsas as well. So, we're gonna go to Androsas first. Make sure you talk to him the second time and he will give you the key to the storm of the Masyaf Temple. You will also now be able to talk to one of the other masters. And here's the storeroom, by the way. That's the key to open that thing. 
you can uh, get one weapon bundle here for Mariusz as well. And we're gonna open all of this. And I think the wine bottle is right here. Indeed. And we're gonna deliver. We're gonna deliver this to uh, Asim. And the purse. Nice. Now we can go to uh, what's his name again? Tiamant. I'm gonna save again, and he's gonna talk to us. A lot of dialogue, as I said before. You can skip all of it, or you can read through all of it. That's up to you. I'm just doing this as fast as I possibly can. See if I can pickpocket these two as well. Okay, cool. And let's see what's next. Death Hunt. Prior time, I commissioned me to kill a Muratan. And uh, into bring a warehouse and bring a bag of sulfur. Okay, we were to the warehouse so we can bring Nrosa's yeah. his uh, sulfur and coal. Nice. And we can, I think, we can ask Hasim how to capture a Muratan. And that is by infusing some sulfur into a piece of meat. So we're gonna go back to the uh, alchemy table. Wonder, I think there's a, uh, there's another one here. Isn't there? Oh yeah, there is, in this corner here. Just in case you were wondering. So you go into special and you put sulfur meat and you just make one. Okay, now we're gonna go back again to that same cave where we killed the black troll. There's a lot of running around and there's a lot of dialogue. That's why people hate this place. And it's also very hard to um, remember everything and what to do. But I have done this so many times now that it's, uh, it's pretty simple. Okay, we go to the bottom of this cave. We're gonna look for our... What's this? Our weapon bundles. Uh, we're gonna look for our sulfur meat. It has an exclamation mark on it. We just click on it. It gets dropped on the floor and the Muratan appears, even though he's not in the center. And we just one-shot him. There we go. We get another Muratan's poison fang and we can return it to Tiamat. A lot of running around. Once you have basically done all of the quests that, and you cannot figure out what to do next, you can you should probably go to Gonzalez and talk to him. Okay, Tiamant, let's see what he has to say. Okay, the second quest from Tiamant is getting rid of some orcs, and the orcs are basically in the same valley as um, we killed the snappers, just a little further ahead. Now, even if you have the uh, Ulumula equipped, there won't be any conversation to do with them, so don't worry about that. These are just to basically kill. Nothing more. And scavengers also appear in this area. Man, I, I keep missing. It's kind of hilarious. And I think that, I think they also killed one of the novices, and uh, one of the novices' head is gonna be in the inventory of one of the orcs. Once you've killed them, you can go back to Tiamat again and tell him you got rid of all of the orcs. So he doesn't need us anymore at the moment. Let's see what's next. Uh, I will sell for spears and the foothold passage. So we need to gather some sulfur. Hmm. 
Unless we don't already have it in our inventory. I think I used all of it. So let's check the uh, the passageway. See if there's any more uh, sulfur down there. There should be. Cool, that one is exhausted. This one? Nope. This one? Nope. This one. Okay. Nice. And I think this one also, yes. There's nothing more. We could probably grab... Oh no, this one not. These are also gold mines, so these don't count. And not all of the gold mines that you see can be interacted with anyway. Okay. I think we have enough sulfur now. We can bring all the sulfur back to Enroses and see what he has to say. We're going to have to divide these videos into probably two or three parts. So they're not as long as I want them to be. So let's see. Here are two dozen pieces of sulfur rock. Does he have anything else for us? No. Diamant also doesn't have anything for us, I believe. Let's check. What do you want? Nothing. Okay. Panya doesn't talk to us yet. Let's see what we got now. Um. Let's see if we got the weapon bundles from Marius. Marius. Hmm. I think I'm missing one. I think it's the one that it's near Tiamant. Because I already got the one from the warehouse and I got the one from uh Yeah, that's one here. And I got one from uh Osair. So this is the last bundle of weapons, so we can give it to Marius. There you go. Now I think it's a good time to go talk to Gonzalez. I'm not sure if there's anything else to do. But let's give it a try. I have not seen Okay, now what? Oh yes. We can go to Asir Osair to tell him that we have delivered the the packages of gold for the two fighters. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I think that's the last quest. Not the last quest entirely, but the last quest that we can do for now. Let's see. Alright, so this has been a 24-minute video. I think we can end it here as the uh, Massive Slayer Part 1. Thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, click like. And for more future videos, please do subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.